Hi, hello everyone. So this is my first video uh, today. I would like to show you the uh, task I have prepared for you uh, from the factory IO. So let's uh, just get it started. I'm gonna start the factory IO. Okay, there we go. Uh, I have uh, created the code for a standard scene for pick and place basic. So if you're gonna choose this one, uh, let's talk a little bit about the setup that we have here. So we have here two conveyors, entry conveyor and the exit conveyor. The uh, idea is that uh, here we are gonna have a parcel coming in and we would like to pick up and drop it on the exit conveyor. Uh, we can see that we've got here two photoelectric cells as well and the uh, pick up and drop machine uh, what I personally don't like about this uh, scene is that in this machine uh, if you have a look in here uh, we don't have any sensors of uh, edge positions which means if we're gonna move uh, fully to the X position like like now we never know if we have reached the position or not so we don't have any limit switches or any sensors that could tell us uh, that we are in the let's say extended position same goes with the uh, initial position yeah which is not really safe because uh, it could happen that because of any reason we could get stuck in the middle and uh, we would never know that we we didn't reach the position and it same goes for the z axis uh, that's the same idea here uh, but uh, yeah that's that's what we have okay and uh, the main purpose of this uh, let's let's call it task is just to practice a little bit of uh, PLC uh, programming and uh, a way of thinking. Uh, so that's what we will focus on today. Uh, so uh, in order to start a conveyor in the factory I.O. we just have to set up the output. It's uh, only one uh, binary output and then we can see uh, it's running. The same idea goes for the other conveyor. For the pick, pick and drop machine, pick and place, uh, as long as we keep the output first, then uh, the, the end position is, is reached. So first thing we, we see here is that most probably we would like to have a set reset or reset set uh, functionality same goes for the z axis yeah in order to grab and oh we can see that the item has been detected that's actually a very useful sensor in order to grab an item we just have to force the uh, grab output and move it back on yeah then we would like to move on the z axis then drop an item we would like to move back and start the conveyor that's what basically we are aiming for but uh, in this video in step one we are gonna focus only on uh, only on picking up an item so what we would like to achieve that we would like to start the conveyor, stop it when the sensor is being uh, occupied, then move move the on the z-axis down, grab an item and move it back. So that's the goal for today. We would like to incorporate as well the start and stop button. For now we are not gonna worry about the rest. So that was a quick introduction. Actually, the controls part was done in Control.io. That's the 
some kind of inbuilt uh, PLC in the factory I.O. Mm, so in order to start an instance of it, uh, we gotta click here in the bottom right corner. From the drivers, choose the control I.O. It's starting, okay, there we go. I'm gonna open my uh, project that I've created before. So that's that's how it looks. Uh, maybe a couple of words how, how to use it. Uh, here we have all of the tags defined uh, which we have in the factory IO. So as I have uh, showed you before, as an example, the entry conveyor output, uh, it's, it's here. Uh, somewhere here so if I'm gonna set it set it then the conveyor is gonna start moving all of the outputs are in the red colors all of the memory bits are violet and all of the sensors are uh, green color that's it for the first video Thank you guys for your attention. I'm really curious about your opinion. Let me know what you think. And uh, in the next video, we are gonna focus more on the uh, on the programming part for the for this scene.